Hey guys, it's DC here and today I wanted to talk to you about how you can get a cybersecurity job in India. Raise it up! Now this video is specifically for my Indian bros out there who want to get into cybersecurity and how to get into it in your own country or abroad. So the first thing you need to do is obviously finish high school. A lot of you guys are messaging me and you're saying, I haven't finished high school yet, but I'd really like to get into cybersecurity. And my answer is always the same, which you need to actually finish high school to uh, then go on to study and then get a job, which I'll explain now. So India is, is one of those countries where there are a lot of people right and unfortunately there being a lot of people also means that there is a lot of competition so that doesn't mean there isn't jobs out there to get or opportunities it just means that it's a little bit harder to compete in any sort of space especially in IT so the first thing you should do is to finish high school and then have a look at uh, universities. Some of the universities out there do offer uh, different certifications as part of the degree, um, but if they don't, the certifications to look out for are the CEH, so Certified Ethical Hacker, a CCNA, and then having a look at some of the CompTIA certifications. So the first one that I always recommend is the A+, plus, if you don't have any other IT experience at all, the A+, plus is a really good entry into what it is like working in IT. And it's a very hands-on course, and I think it's a pretty good one. If you're fairly confident with your IT skills, skip the A+, plus and go straight to a CompTIA Security+. Plus. The reason I didn't mention the Network+, plus is because if you've already completed a CCNA, there's absolutely no point in doing a Network+, plus unless you really want to get into that networking space and double up on your network certifications, but it's, it's not necessary. Now, from here, you need to sort of decide which area of cybersecurity you want to get into. So there's penetration testing, there's analysis like in a SOC team, and then there's like vendor specific stuff as well as, and then there's, there's also like your general cybersecurity engineer. It's quite important to pick a specification that you think you'll be good at or one that you enjoy doing. Enjoying what you're actually doing for work is a massive bonus to um, having a job and it's you don't want to just be doing something that you completely hate or something that you're you know maybe you're not that good at it and you really don't enjoy it that much because you're not that good at it you know what i mean just you know aim for the ones that you really enjoy doing now in india unfortunately there is a lot of competition for the penetration testing space mainly because you can do a lot of that work remotely so there is a high demand i guess for that sort of work but it's also really competitive so the wages aren't as good as somewhere like Australia or Singapore. So if you do want to go into being a penetration tester from being certified in India, and then you're looking for work abroad in countries that will accept your uh, visa application, Australia, Singapore, New Zealand are probably the ones to go to where you can get working holidays and expand out from there. The US is also good, but their visa laws are a little bit touch and go at the moment. And the UK is just expensive. So it's, I don't know, I don't really recommend it. Plus they outsource everything in the UK anyway, so. If you wanna do something more like just, a, you wanna work in a SOC team, there are plenty of SOC teams in India, but the competition there is hectic. It's even worse than penetration testing, and it's, it's just impossible, it's so hard. From everyone I've been talking to over there, I've got a couple of mates who've been trying to get into SOC teams in India and they've been saying, it's just so difficult. Maybe I should try somewhere else. And I'm thinking, yeah, maybe maybe you should. So yeah, that's, that's what I'd recommend. If you wanna get into something quickly, straight out of studying, go for a SOC team abroad or penetration testing in India if you don't mind dealing with the competition or if you wanna make more money, work abroad. Places like Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Malaysia are absolutely perfect for this sort of work. Now, each of those 
uh, specific areas do have their own set of certifications. And I won't get into those because I've already made videos about each different sort of team that you can get into and, and how to, um, which study path you should take to get into those specific areas. So have a look at those and, and see what you think. And yeah, I guess go from there. That's probably the way to do it. But yeah, apart from those things you can do to sort of get yourself into cybersecurity uh, by going through those certifications of CH, CCNA, Security Plus, etc., etc., um, you can also do some CTFs and online learning courses like Udemy, Cybrary.it, or any of those other ones out there that you can sort of go online and, and learn online. Uh, because those certifications are recognized globally. It's not just in India or the US or Australia or the UK. You can use those anywhere in the world. And yeah, that's that's sort of what I would do to at least get a beginning of an understanding of the work involved in cybersecurity and how you can take that further within India. To Get a job abroad though, um, a lot of the time they're looking for experience over certifications um, and in the case of uh, people coming to work abroad, they're looking for both certifications and experience. So this is where working for a an organization in India will really help you um, to get a job overseas and having that experience there is going to really put you ahead of uh, all the other applicants who are sort of applying for jobs in those countries already. And I mean like the, the local people of those countries. An example of this is a, a girl I used to work with who was a Linux system admin and uh, she was Indian and she migrated over to Australia after working uh, in India for I think it was five plus years as a, a Linux systems uh, admin. And she, she landed a job at a place I was working at a few years ago, earning, I think it was around $100,000 a year um, Australian. And she was really good. She was excellent at her job. And she had no prior experience working in Australia when she got this job. But um, yeah, she had worked overseas in India as a Linux system admin, or at least with Linux systems. She was able to prove that she could do the job. She had the certifications to back it up and she was on her way to getting a uh, working visa, which then converted eventually into a full migration as a, a permanent resident in Australia. And yeah, she's she's now working, I think she's still at the same organization, but she's making around 100,000 Australian per year, which um, I don't know what that is in uh, Indian money, but for here, it's, it's pretty good. Like that's a really good wage for any sort of systems admin type role. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys out with what you can do to get a job in India or abroad in cybersecurity. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later, guys.